All right. It's Friday. So here we go. I'm going to feed a bin here. Uh, this is one of the uh, 115 bins that we've had in production for over two months now. So uh, we're just going to give it a quick feeding. And then what we'll do is uh, I'm going to cut you off and run you over to the uh, bathtub. We're going to take the burrito. Take a look at it, and then we're going to do a Captain Matt style compost weed feeding upside down in the bin, throw it in there and get it done, and I'm going to let y'all go on about y'all's business tonight. So, let's do this feeding thing. Look down and through here. They have, once again, knocked it up. Yes. Good little children. Give them a little something, something right there. Might be a little, little bit of corn left right in there. In the corner there. And that's about it, though. And we all know that ain't nothing close to what we fed. And there's some, there's some babies. There's some babies running around in there. So, yeah, it's cool. Plastic. This is the unsifted again. I got some sifted mixed up actually, but they to reset a couple bins that I've got that are empty. Uh, I turned over one of uh, the cocoon hatchery bins. It is spent. We done robbed all we could get out of that bin. So uh, I didn't see any babies. I didn't see any cocoons that weren't empty. And so I just decided to go on and dump it in the uh, big storage bin. So we've actually got it, another one that I broke down. So we've got two bands to reset. We'll probably reset them. Reset them one night. That'll be good. So let's feed these puppies and let's go check on the burrito. Yes. Get them a healthy feed in here. They're not going to, well, I don't know, Ooh, about a half a pound out. Three quarters of a pound, about every week still so we can have so they're doing pretty good and then they never seem to uh disappoint actually so let's break that out a little bit there my multi-tool here I need to go get me some chinese food so i can have me some more chopsticks for my worm bin anyway clean that off right there mm-hmm there we go well, that's a feeding. Yep. And I see some babies and hmm, some not so babies. But uh, I see a bunch of cocoons in here too, so it's working. It's what we want. It's what we're after. All right, so I'm going to shut you down for a second, put you on pause, and let's run over to the bathroom, uh, bathtub being. And uh, take a look at it, check on this burrito, and then do this mat feeding, and we'll roll out. All right, here we go. Let's take a look. Oh. That's a couple one, that's one at the top here. A couple there. Let's go down in here. Let's see what we got. Ooh. They own it. They own it pretty hard, too. I don't want to tear it, so I'm trying to dig down beside it and not disturb the burrito, actually. Oh, yeah. They're on it, though. They're definitely all up on it. So that's good. Anyway, I didn't want to bother you, but I had to look. It's been like nine days. 
But that's the first check in on this scientific experiment. Looking good. They balled up on it. They're working their way in. They're probably already in. I don't want them to bust it open. So, yeah. Awesome. All right. Let's skip over to the other side of the bin in uh, the tub and we'll throw this mat in. All right. So, this is just a, a mat chunk to come off the top of the compost pile. So, I just left it like it was and thought, hey, you know what? Let's do a cat and mat style feeding. So uh, that's what we're going to do. And it is just real surreal simple here. All you got to do is take that and do like that. And that is it. That is pretty much over with. I'm going to put a little water to it because it's dry. I'm going to throw a little water on it. Yeah. Let me go hunt my water jug up because uh, I don't have one in here. I usually don't need it, so hold on tight. All right. So I do it a little different. I got a little, I don't know, gallon jug with a big old two and a half inch opening in it to pour it out with. And instead of just dumping it directly in there and making one big gigantic slosh puddle, I use this and I pour the water in and it helps sprinkle it out a little bit. And then other than that, that's what they get. The bottom of the tub's open anyway, the drain. I just put a screen over it, and uh, I got a pitcher sitting underneath it. So anything that does come out of the tub, it, it doesn't sit. It, it runs out of the bottom of the tub and drains out of the bottom, and I'll actually recycle it. But it's empty right now, so there we go. That's uh, that's her. And so uh, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Uh, just give you a heads up. Tomorrow night, we're going to... Uh, Feed the big bins, and then we're going to get into the hunted worm worm bin. We're going to pull it down, I think. I said I was going to do it at the end of March, and I can do it this weekend. Uh, pull it down. Let's count some worms and see how many we got out of 100. All natural bedding, all natural feeding. Anything I could pick up out, off the ground considered is what we fed them. We didn't feed them any processed food, anything come from the grocery store, nothing we had to buy for cook and you know do the waste management that's not what i fed them i fed them stuff like acorn you know the acorn chow that we were making and uh apples because i have i have access to apple trees and like this year uh we got mulberries and so we'll be pulling mulberries in off of three different houses and bringing them in and probably grinding them up freezing them down in the freezer feeding them during the summer and feeding them during the winter and so we're going to do the mulberries too because that's a good free food to give them so that's all i'm after and uh you know what i will say this i do it different you know i know you've all figured that out but uh i tell you one thing i did decide to do and the way i do it the way i do it i watch the big guys um they don't back up dump truck loads of shredded cardboard and bills and dump it out they dump compost or horse manure or something like that. Then they pick it up with a bobcat. They take it and dump it in the bin. And they throw the worms to it. And they, they wedge feed it all the way down a, you know, 100-foot building. And then once the worms make it to the other end, they start back at the other end with the bobcat. Start scooping it up, hauling it out, sifting it, doing the whole nine yards. And that's why I like the natural bedding. I just like it's all natural. I don't have to, I don't know, I don't have to shred cardboard and, and, and stuff like that. And that's just what I've taken to. I kind of like the big, I don't know, I kind of like the way the big boys do it. Um, like I said, they're not, they don't have a gigantic shredder. You know, they're they getting dump trucks of uh, of compost to chips, wood chips. I got, there's a couple of big farms. They get the free wood chips from the tree guys. They pile it up out there and let it compost out, and that's the compost for the following year. And then they just start digging it up and throwing it down and let it. They don't worry about nothing. I mean, they don't. I mean, they hardly regulate anything. I mean, they do try to keep them warm and they do try to keep them moist, or they try to keep them warm during the winter, try to keep them cool in the summer, and they keep them moist. They don't worry about pH. They don't check this. They don't. They don't no, they 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 grow and they grow a mess of worms. So. I'm just running it like that, I guess. I'm on the edge, I reckon. I'm not sitting around fucking my fingernails worried about whether or not the worms is 
going to make it or not. Uh, I've yet to be disappointed by these kids at all. Like I said, they've been real resilient. I mean, we're dealing with pounds and pounds and pounds and pounds of worms here. And I killed off the first two sets of worms I got. Actually, the first set and the second set. And now we're just rejuvenating the population from that last kill off, uh, what, two years ago. And I hadn't been breeding them. I mean, they were just in a couple of totes sitting over in the corner. And, you know, we had, I think, three or four big totes. And I got tired of picking them up, messing with them. And plus, I was trying to excite them and, I don't know, do something different, too. And we got this thing here, and that worked out pretty good. So, anyway. But, yeah, like I said, I just, I don't know. I just, I seen the big boys doing it and the way they did it. And I was like, you know what? That's pretty simple. And that's, you know, to the point. Uh, the worms would do all the other work. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it that way. Uh, keep it simple, right? So anyway, I appreciate everybody tuning in. It's really awesome. We got, I don't even know, like 118 it was last time I looked. Uh, subscribers, welcome to all the new subscribers. Um, you're more than welcome to ask a question. Give me some advice. I'm okay with that. Um, um, banging the views out like crazy. And, uh, so anyway, I holla out to all my regular, um, Wormy Worm community peoples. Um, hope y'all are having a good Friday night too. Um, so anyway, this is what we're doing. If you want to, you're more than welcome to hit the subscribe button, ding the bell for the notifications, and you're more than welcome to throw a comment in there anytime you want to. If you got a question, I'll do the best I can to answer you and help you out. The best I can, if I can. There's several other wormies that follow this channel just like I follow their channel, and they'll be in here commenting too. And if you got a question and they got an answer to it, they'll help you out too. So anyway, that's how we work around here. So I appreciate it, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all have a blessed Friday night, and like I said, I will see you Saturday night. We'll go through the honey worm worm being. And we'll feed the big bins, check them suckers out, and see how they're doing. So anyway, I appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.